Now, Brian Greene, uh, he's best known to the public for popularizing string theory. And uh, his, his earliest book, The Elegant Universe, was a mega bestseller back in 1999. And it was followed up with a book called The Fabric of the Cosmos, Space, Time, and the Texture of Reality. Now, that's, that touches on so much, and it, it enables him to think about so many interesting branches of physics that intrigue us. And in 2003, there was a paper published by a philosopher from the University of Oxford on whether or not the universe is a simulation. And I had to ask Brian Green if he thought this could actually be possible, <laughs> just to get a, get a, a professional opinion on this. <laughs> Let's find out. If it's the case that one day we can have computers that can recreate a reality in bits and bytes that has such verisimilitude that they're inhabitants of those simulations that feel that it's real, if that's possible, and I think many of us agree that it might be. Sure. We're, getting, we're getting closer already. Just let's assume that's possible. It's so much easier to create a simulation than it is to create a real universe. I mean, how are you gonna create a real right. universe? Right. So if you wait long enough, there are gonna be many, many more simulated universes than there are real ones. So any sentient being, if they're rational, will think that the odds are that they're in one of those simulations because there's so many more of those compared to Just real ones. Statistically, statistically, you're in the simulated one, not the real one. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So how do you know? And it would be very hard. I mean, some have suggested, sort of like in the Matrix, look for glitches. Like, real universes don't have glitches, but computers can have them. But I say to well, that... Well, glitches because, uh, presumably, a fallible entity programmed that... It could be that, it could be that. It could also be there's an electric current glitch that happens in the real universe and screws up what's happening inside the computer. But I don't buy that argument, because if it's a really good simulation, it should be able to rewind, erase the memory of a glitch, fix it, and then the simulated beings have no memory of it ever happening. 